Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 32 match between Crucifer and his chofs and Vava and his humans. In the booth with me is Faimir. Hello. Hola, here we are to watch one of the classics, Crucifer in the cup. <laughs> yep. Uh, this should be a kind of run-of-the-mill win for, for Cruz, right? He's, he's only got five chofs. But humans are kind of tailor-made for chops just to chew up and spit out. Um, but Vava, you know, had an incredible record with humans. He, uh, he put a loss on my high elves and he played very well in that game. But his team is more kind of, you know, obviously humans are, are pretty good against elves. And they're pretty bad against bash teams. And, and while chops aren't a real bash team, they've got Claw, Pom, yep, one of them. And they've got two strength ups on this team, loads of guard, and they've got the tackle for the uh, catchers, which is normally pretty, like, you know, counters their speed a bit, doesn't it? And obviously the bulls, oh god, there's an instant Kaz. Instant Kaz and instant Apple. Boston actually good. Oh, uh, that's a very decent uh, player. <laughs> I mean, good Mahal team. Uh, is good as well. Yeah, good team from uh, Cruiser, but not the usual absolutely monstrous team that uh, usually use. Still, it's a very good team. I mean, yeah. having a strength five uh, bull is like. Wow. And I did wonder that he was exposed, and of course, this strength four guy has come in with the two assists and hit him with my blow. Maybe a bit of a mistake from Cruz there. Maybe you could have protected him, but. I guess you're not used to having to protect a strength five bull, are you? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, that's the kind of thing, you know. You don't expect to be able to, to need to do that. Mm. Say, so, Crucifer, the only thing, the, I think, is every resume, this is the 40th uh, cap. Yeah, he's been if moved. Crucifer doesn't win or even play the next 10 caps, he still have won 10% of the whole caps. <laughs> You know, that's the monstrous level of uh, play. Yeah. Ah, so he goes for the goes for the dirty player, but wrestle. That's a bit of a that's a bit of a risky blitz, wasn't it? But I guess it, it got the guard in to two D the over as well, which is nice. Cheers, Volk. Yeah, there's more done, but uh, being a bit. Um, like you know, just haven't uploaded them all. Wouldn't really say lax, but uh... yeah, I think it's, it's surprising that Barbar team, you know, didn't got a wizard or anything. So you know, the yeah. TVs are very similar, and still, you know, the Cruz team looks like much better. Yeah, yeah, he's got he's got a a big battle. This is, a, this is a. It's not the biggest Crucis team, Crucifer team, but it's pretty scary, isn't it? With how yeah. TV efficient it is. Yeah, because usually Crucifer teams tend to have a hobgoblin with a strength five or IG five or some crazy hobgoblin. <laughs> yeah. The rest, he's always, always very team efficient. He knows how to build teams and when to delete teams with no remorse. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, Vava down to one reroll. Maybe he shouldn't have rerolled this, right? Because it's still a taxi on the turn or less. So yeah, I don't know. I guess he get this guy's getting surfed as well. But that's brutal now. Down being at one reroll because obviously he needs that for the one turner, doesn't he? Um, which there's only one stand firm for Cruz, and you've got to move nine sidestepper. Um, the one turn is I'd pretty on. It's on, but doesn't have a sprint. No. Maybe he doesn't save a reroll for the one turn now. That's a horrible decision after making 15 seconds. I do hate that about this, you know, like, yeah. obviously if you've yeah, got a two-minute 50 seconds uh, clock in many of the situations are like, this is not enough. It should be a 15 seconds and then they have, you know, a time bank or something like that. 
Yeah, he's, he's got two minutes of his turn, and now he's just got to make a, a potentially match-deciding decision in 15 seconds, which is a bit shit. I mean, he choose to greed reroll on turn one, which, which, you know, you can argue, he certainly argue he shouldn't have greeded on turn one. Now this drive's looking completely lost, this is why I think he probably doesn't, he probably does save the reroll now, because this drive looks pretty lost. Yeah, there's no match you can do, I mean... So he's going to hit a, hit a hot ball with Mighty Blow, good idea. You can 2D the ball too. Yeah, the problem is this is putting your catcher at risk, isn't it? There was certainly an argument for just running away with that catcher. Oh wow, well that's the payoff. Oh, oh, Huge payoff. Instant oh, apple. Uh, <laughs> apple works. <laughs> Huge apple roll for Chris there. Holy shit. Well, instant, but this is a replay. Everything is instant, you know? But yeah, that was man. You, you, no doubt. Yes, yes, that no doubt. That, 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 that the strength 5 bull is a cup winner player. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's the kind of monster player that can give you the, the title. Yeah. So, maximum reward there for Vava, but it does mean that uh, this catcher might get. Tonked, but he doesn't because he's already used he's already used his blitz, so he's not smashing. Wow, he's dub scold and there's a there's 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 a chance oh, to hit the bomb hit now maybe. He has other blocks to to make with uh, 2D. Yeah. He has a pilot on uh Did he think that uh, was a two? There I think there must be a mistake. Yeah, I was thinking why was only one D? Yeah, because he's got he's got plenty of players. He's players up, but he doesn't. Yeah, but the the the, the chorf has guard. Is the hobo? So it was three, four, five. So why was only one D? Yeah. Maybe he misclicked or something. That like that's I think so it was weird. A misclick, yeah. That's so weird because he was in pretty dominant, right? He's okay. He's lost the ball, but he's he's removed two players of the humans, like two very good players as well. The fucking blood. Lodge guard blitzer and the guard mighty blow tackle blitzers. He's lost two. He's lost me two great blitzers. He's under no threat really at all. That was a weird block to take there. I think he was convinced that it was a two D. Was one D? Yeah, three, four, five. I think uh, because he had much easier two D blocks before that. You, you just you just blitzed with his strength four, so maybe he just thought that guy was strength four as well. You know, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> Really weird though. Yeah, hitting the better player. On a GFI, so that was a bit greedy. Going for a one turner. That was a bit greedy. I mean, very greedy. <laughs> He's gonna foul him as well. Wow, a dodge! But this is uh, this is pretty wild. He's not gonna foul him. This is pretty wild from Chris. But is this the man has lost his edge? <laughs> you know, and now that he's happy, he's lost all his edge in Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's just weird. It's like normally he's like he's uber uber conservative, Chris, and now he's just getting a bit rowdy, like you know, and uh, maybe he thinks maybe he thinks he has to in this game or whatever. I don't know. And maybe he thinks Vava is a really good player and he's, he's got to try and get a bit luckier than normally he would. Uh, so the ultimate efficiency, you know, it's low and sure and uh, step by step, square by square, absolutely dominating. Mm. <laughs> Fighting mongoose. <laughs> He might be new. <laughs> he might be new, yeah. Uh, yeah. Is that hobo worth anything? It's a hobo, so no. It's a hobo with block, also the apple has already been used in the bull, so who cares? Yeah. Gets the wrestle. He can't score because he can't give the humans two turns. Not a blitz from the bull. Who's blitzing? This guy. 
This is this is pretty strong now, isn't it? But still, is this wrestler? Does he just score? He, he has to, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. That's horrible. That is horrible. That is a really horrible score there. Um, who knows? What's happening? He's adding some extra adversity to himself. Yeah. Great, great yeah. success. You've got to say for Varda uh, there, haven't you? In general, the Bassman in a short team, hobos who doesn't matter the situation are worthless. <laughs> Doesn't matter how many skills do they have, like that. you probably only use the apple, it's turn 16 and it's the last uh, thing, but other than that, or is your ball carried with AG4, Blotch or something spectacular, but losing a hobo is nothing compared with losing a chorp or a, or a bull. Yeah. It's just a different universe of uh, usefulness for your team. This is this is interesting now, this isn't it? This two turn chance. And then a whole half, like Vava can absolutely win this now for sure. If he managed to score here, yes, he has a good chance, but scoring versus uh, Cruz in a regular day is not easy. Maybe today is the day. Maybe. Also proper defense, you know, here, you know, covering the side, <laughs> the stand firm in one side, the bull in the other. Yeah. Strength five. A weak player on one side to be hit where it's like useless, and a, you, the guy that you don't like want hit on the other side, so he's gonna have to go through the uh, stand firm side probably, because you just can't 2D the strength five ball. <laughs> now you could also try and go through the middle and hit this guy, I guess. This is maybe the best way of doing it, was to have hit through the. Well, he cool with guard and the, and the ogre, but yeah. that's a triple play. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's way too rowdy. Maybe the play was to uh, was to blitz this guy and, and go, just go straight through the middle. Because yeah, he's cleaned out the LOS effectively here. Yeah, yes, run and pray. Yeah. So now he's probably regretting having this strength guy here. If this strength guy had been over here, this all of a sudden looks a hell of a lot better, doesn't it? Yep. Like pushing him the wrong way, isn't he? Oh, he's double scoring as well. Yuck. Catch four thrower. Hello, dear Horner. Is this a GFI? I think it is. Should not have followed that block. <laughs> Little did he know later in the turn, but you know, <laughs> that's that's pretty good, though, isn't it? I mean, he's got the break tackle in. Uh, Cruz. Yeah, had the break, the break tackle roll. But otherwise, no, he's not going for that. He's just gonna. He thinks he can jam in enough to stop this. There is, of course, no reroll available to the humans thanks to that brutal double skull. And he can put the ball just in front of the ball. And surround everything. Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't think Cruz would go for the break tackle because he does tend to play really conservatively, but you never know. The man has played so many games with Chop that knows the odds of every single play. <laughs> but yeah, this is. It's, it's brutal not having a reroll here, isn't it? Against all the tackle guys. So you can blitz here to leave a route out that way. Oh, Cass. Big. Only badly hurt, but big for the rest of the match. So you can blitz him and then block him and then he can get out here. And pass to him in the end zone. Okay, we'll do it on the other side, it doesn't really matter. I think this way is probably better because then you get a mighty blow him. Get a mighty blow hobo that way. Any 
fail to three plus here. I don't know. This this seemed like I, I think he fucked it up here. By the way, massively. I think he absolutely should have done what I said, blitzing that hobo and then uh, blocking the strength five bull, and then he would have had he could have uh, dodged back and thrown a short pass to the catcher in the end zone. But at the end of the day, he failed the three plus. But yeah, maybe, maybe that greed hit that he made um, yeah, on I turn mean, one would have rise. Yeah, he ended up. Might have scored had he not wasted that reroll. But on the other hand, of course, the wasted reroll could have been a Kaz strength five bull centaur. So, you know, who's to say what's right or wrong? <laughs> after the wars, you know, after the wars, everybody's a genius. Yeah. But he's men, he's men down now, Cruz. Down with ten players. Against the eleven of the humans. <laughs> yeah, calcium can. <laughs> it's great when Calcium's commentating and says, I'm not sure I'd have made that foul. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> that's, that's the biggest lie, the biggest lie ever. He will foul every single time. I'm also a big fan of fouls. I love them. <laughs> that's, that's not a bad 4,000 games. That's not bad, is it? Oh, he is the man himself. I so wouldn't have done that foul. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody believes that. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm actually at work. Well, I'm working from home, but I, I'm so I was just sort of stealthily watching from from the you know the cheap seats, and uh, I I heard my name being invoked, so I thought I'd pop it and say hello. <laughs> oh. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we are here I've... for one of the actual uh, interesting uh, games to with coaches. Yeah. And Lucifer been and much Chops, honestly. Tight, uh, than expected. Yeah, very tight. <laughs> Humans, when played well, they're just so good, aren't they? You know, they're, they're, they're not great at anything, but they're not crap at anything either, are they? You know, and and therein lies their strength. It's, it's just weird. You get a couple of stat ups on humans. You get a couple of them with mighty blow tackle, maybe one pommer. You're good, aren't you? Mm. It's all right for short-term uh, or mid-term uh, competitions, but for the long-term ones, teams start to cross the 2000 TV barrier. It's like that's when the monsters appear. Yeah, you you you, you need a lot of luck as well, don't you? So yeah. to to go deep in a CCL run, you you need a decent amount of luck as well as skill. You know, you also need a thrower that's capable of picking up the fucking ball. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, that's when you need the stats, right, isn't it? Like, that's the main yeah. failing of yeah. humans is, the, is their uh, lack of base stats. Obviously, he's got a strength up, a move up and an edge up. But um, yeah, you do you do need that really at the, at the high yeah. TVs. I'm looking yeah. at that throw right now. That throw is pretty sexy, isn't he? Uh, blodge, agi4, accurate. It's pretty good. He's all right, yeah. Old fashioned style of the thrower, you know, with the skills that uh, help to pass the ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet that throw is looking forward to 2020, that's for sure. <laughs> you know, because throwing's not minced at all, is it? <laughs> Unreliability of the ogre, I don't know what you're talking about, uh, Dog to the Dog. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> was, that, was that a bit of a mistake um, uh, from Vava there? Um, try and, he's looking for the surf one he forgot that it was stand firm maybe yeah I think he should have hit with wrestle I think yeah he can just, he's just going to have yeah. to dodge away yeah. yeah and I'll have to run away because that, the turf there is a big danger we've all done that right haven't we you know look, looked at the cheeky surf forgot you know get your surf goggles on and then think oh look oh it's stand firm well shit <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, humans humans are a really really fast team. Of course, they're just not that mobile because of their edge three. Um, so they're not as mobile as elves, but they are definitely uh, really really fast. Yes, the four blitzers and the runners the, and the catchers help a lot with that. Yeah. Well, I think this was a bit too weak. Maybe the, the, the you know just holding this guy. Maybe this this blitzer should have been holding the center a bit as well. Because now with that, like with that dodge fail, this is very, this is a very open center, isn't it? I saw that chorf there, you know, retaining a 
nearly five, half of the human team by himself. Just with a little help with guard, it's going to be just the, okay, that's it. That's a five players of the humans, six players of the humans stuck there. Yeah, yeah, this is weird, isn't it? All these guys stuck. And of course, really interesting. Grounded. It's really interesting, Crucifer decided to hit the DP there as opposed to punching through the middle. Yeah. Bit scared of losing more men. Maybe. That's I mean, a... he is men down. He is men down at this point. Yeah, and so he has a bribe with thanks to the get the ref, so he can play, you know, the... Oh, there you go. Calcium, would, would you have made that foul? Oh, yeah, all day. <laughs> Beautiful foul. Amazing. <laughs> Go on, Abbott. Abbott, you crazy Russian bastard. Go on, my son. There's one thing that the uh, has no play, and they no do a problem doing his foul. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, true fowlers do not concern is. themselves. Yeah, true fowlers do not concern themselves with being men down. Okay, that's the last thing you think about <laughs> when you're laying you the boot. You become in. men up, you know, Absolutely. making fouls. <laughs> yeah, go big or go home. <laughs> yeah, I didn't like that one D there. He should have done this hit first, right? Then that, I think that was a bit of a mistake, probably. <laughs> Okay, and now the situation is, here is, the humans are even more stuck with even more chores, you know, even you have been rolling two dice and all that, looks good, but that runner there is not safe. Oh god, and this foul is rowdy, without a reward, without a bribe, yep, and he is sent off. Now all of a sudden, the oh, humans are Oh, that's not down, a good one. Yeah, didn't like that. Didn't like that. <laughs> Is it because he was sent off? <laughs> yeah. Fucking ref. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, God, Jim, I miss LRB4 and I got my eye on you and the bribe uh, and the, the um, kickoff event. That was brutal, wasn't it? <laughs> Holy cow. It was, yeah. God, Jimmy, I'm going to have to have a poached egg on toast after this. Damn you, damn you, Dimmy. <laughs> yeah, Rackle gone for this guy. Standard, yes. conservative. You play. know, many people would have gone, you know, a brick tackle or uh, something like that with the bull. Yeah. Thinking that the bull is really that, but no, just need a hobo there doing a, uh, the Lord's job. <laughs> yeah, yeah this, is, this is classic, Chris. He, he always does, like, you know, the kind of safe, boring play, basically. Um, which is but here we are. It's good, isn't it? Turn twelve, and where is the human team? There's not much where left, is, is there? Seven players, four of them all stuck together. And the, and the, the worst thing is when when the when the game gets like this, even if it's like seven aside, which obviously the the, the chaffs are men up at the moment. But even if they weren't men up. Once the opponents down like down players, bulls are just incredible, aren't they? And just completely... yeah, they're unstoppable. They're yeah. unstoppable at that level. They're so good. They're too good. You know, even people say, "Oh yeah, seven versus seven, yeah, but what seven versus what seven? You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bulls are just just become insane when your opponents down players. They just shut everything down. Well, probably I don't know what Eng I don't know what English muffins are, Rick Basement. <laughs> nice surf here. Yeah, we do just call muffins muffins here, don't we? We don't call them English muffins. They're just no. muffins. But I don't know what English muffins are. We might call them like not even muffins, right? We might call them scones. <laughs> Yeah, there it's that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing as Americans call scones biscuits. <laughs> this is unraveled pretty quickly for the poor old human team, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, as I said, you know, once uh, he had half his team trapped in one side with just a few chores, and that, that, that was the trap. That was the other thing is avoid the chores at any cost. Don't, don't run towards them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> because now every time the situation is the bull is closer to your world carrier. Step by step, but the one bull is getting closer and closer. Interesting oh. that Cruz moved this Rackler over, because I thought he would have kept him next to this uh, next to this guy, but he didn't. Now the strength four is pretty difficult to deal with. Guess you bull him and then put this guy back on the catcher. Strength four is a trap. So um, Vava's last play here is the catcher prone, isn't it? Yeah. And so Crucifer's got to cover that. Yeah, but that's why that's why you have to take down the strength four because oh my yeah. god, that's sort of the it. only way that's to get your tackle on it. You know, that, that, there you go. 68 as a casualty there is no nothing uh, deader than that <laughs> yeah you almost, you almost want to get knocked out of the chalice now don't you because you you, you you runs over <laughs> yeah yeah oh he's gonna run back with him and foul him oh reroll comes in he's one nil up so he knows that if he can get this foul out he's almost certainly won one nil does not anyway. get the foul out yeah so I, I only literally popped in to say hello. I'm actually, I've, I've, my phone's going yes, yeah, so I'm going to leave you guys to it. I will try to catch up with you, Jim, on uh, um, some replays, um, you and Faye before um, sort of the end of the week, maybe over the weekend if you do a couple. But um, oh, other yeah. than that, yeah, glorious as ever. So I'll be watching in the background. Ah, oh, yeah. All right. See you later, guys. See you, Carl. See you. See ya. <laughs> Help me, in my humble opinion, one of the best commentators that I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> and there you go. That's it. That's the, you know, slowly, turn by turn, block by block, the human team disappeared. Yep. Yep, they're just getting deleted now. And their hope is... That was a brutal double one. I mean, not much that you could have done, actually. You know, you take the game, you go to overtime with three players. It's like, not looking good. No, 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 they are. They're up shit creek now, the humans. Up shit creek. That's him off. And now they're down to two players on the field. <laughs> no, okay. no, uh, will we watch uh, see the magic ogre play here? <laughs> wow. Cruz gone for a blocker SPP. Oh no, they've got three. They've got the they've got the thrower still as well. All right, three players on the field. Hey, one at a time. You love to see it. <laughs> hey, he does the dodge Wait. and blitz. So he does the right thing, giving himself what little chances he's got, you know, like uh unlike a large thud. To be fair, you know, not being not being mean to a large thud. But you know, like <laughs> he's you know, he's he's grasping for these slivers of equity, isn't it? And yeah, he's completely yeah. fucked. Because even if he scores, he's got like three players left. <laughs> but he's still doing what tiny little Still going for that one percent that play, you know, that makes the headlines. Yeah, yeah. Like Scoring that. threat for the charge there. <laughs> yeah. So that was an absolutely perfect turn there from Vava. <coughs> Cruz tagging the ogre. Maybe shouldn't have bothered. Alright, maybe put uh, four players on him so we can't even activate him. And lose a bit of... Uh, Match equity for Chalice equity. Not really bone heads anyway. <laughs> and fails the dodge. Dead. Dead. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I look, I was thinking this is going to be a dead. This is going to be a dead. Wow. <laughs> In the lesion. <laughs> oh, Sharp included going for the. Pass to the chore. Yeah. Mm. Hooray! Perfect, he did get perfect, to the chore. Perfect, there you go. Perfect. Oh. oh. Diced. Diced, <laughs> completely diced. 
<laughs> oh, commiserations, Cruz. What an absolute no, <laughs> That there was you go, brutal. Cruz. Oh, I level up for one of the chores. Six cast sustain and four KOs. That is just brutal, isn't it? Yeah, and because there weren't that many blocks. I mean, how many blocks? Uh, there were 10 AV breaks. Ten, look. 10 AVs. 10 AV breaks into six cast and four KO. <laughs> Maximum efficiency. Holy shit, that's awful. That is awful. Poor Vava. Like, you know, and he did he did do pretty much everything right that game, just the dice decided. He has fall for the chorf trap like many others, you know, thinking that maybe I do this, I you know, I get a couple bows and then nah, you are still stuck uh, with chores. Mm, brutal. Right, well there you go. Congratulations, Christopher. Uh, commiserations, Vava. Thank you very much. As always, Fime, absolutely glorious commentary. Thanks for having me here one more time. <laughs> and uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.